Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Pashas Vayera, Mean People Part 2. We learned in the first year that a uh, person simply can have a mean nature, and if he doesn't work on it and direct it in the proper way, he'll just stay that way and he'll be punished for that uh, kind of lifestyle. He could have changed himself, and he didn't. It's not a psychiatric disorder, it's simply the nature that he's been given that he didn't develop properly. Part two, we like to address the application to Sodom. So they were mean people, and they were vicious and malicious and aggressive. Now Berkowitz says they must have had some sheet to some rationalization, and he has a very fascinating idea. He writes that maybe they thought that uh, their aggression was actually very nice. Of course, if they help people, then a person becomes dependent. And instead of working his way out of problems, what does he do? He just waits for the next hand down. And he waits for the person to give him a lift, to do this, to give him more money, to help him out. And it becomes irrational and independent in an unhealthy manner. And therefore, they didn't want that to develop in the neighbor. So they went to very serious extremes to make sure to avoid it and not have any chesed because it's going to cause too much dependency. It's a very interesting idea, Robert Berkowitz says, but of course it's distorted because certain people need help, but we can't be the judge and decide, no, we're not going to help this person, not going to help that person, it's going to lead to him being a dependent. That's really not our judgment. We can talk to the person, guide the person, and try to uh, help them you know, with rehabilitation, of course, but uh, to go ahead and make a sheet to never help other people out, that, of course, is unacceptable. The Ramban writes that they were killed because of the Mido route, even though they did a lot of other things before that, still they didn't go ahead and help out an Aniv Evyon. Those Mido, they couldn't help an Aniv and Evyon, even though they did other horrible things. That's why they were killed for. Now, the Gemara says the other horrible things were the worst. Of the Zara, of the they did horrible things, and yet they get killed for not taking care of an onion and Evyon. It sounds pretty severe. So the Lev Tzion. And the Ramban quotes the Rabbeinu Yona that says that Lashon Hara and other um, could be compared to the worst of Avirot. And he says, not a guzma, it's not an exaggeration. Yes, these Avirot are they're the worst in the Torah. But when you take one of the, quote, minor Avirot, like Lashon Hara, or what these people did, not helping out the poor people in the town, and they do it again and again and again and again, and they repeat it. And that's their nature, just to become vicious, malicious people. So yes, Enochanami, that could be worse than the big three of our own. And yes, that could be the destruction of the society. And on their own bond rights, they, they had horrible of error before this. But the decree was over. The fact that Tadirim Ba'oto Avon Yotemi Kulam, they did it constantly. This was their nature. They were essentially evil, right, and aggressive people. Yes, an act of one of the big three could be a horrible act, it's unforgivable, it's terrible. It may happen, someone did it, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. But if this was a consistent philosophy, it was part of the nature, day in and day out. And for the Ramban, that is what was the final reason for the destruction. And of course the message is clear. A person slips here, he slips there, but he has to be extra, extra careful. Of course, and even not to slip here and there, but extra careful to go ahead and ne never let any of those midot, the aggression, become ingrained in his nature. It's just that he becomes one with this horrible midah and must be uprooted at all costs. Shalom.